boy Reverse, I'm Daniel from Coralust and this video is about proper coral placement. There's three things I like to think about whenever I'm placing a coral. One is what is this coral's lighting requirements. Two is what kind of flow does this coral need and three is what kind of coral is this, how is it going to grow and what kind of structure is it going to turn into. If it's an SPS you know it's going to grow up and branch out. If it's a Monty, depending on if it's a cap or if it's an encrusting Monty, it's going to take the shape of the rock. Um, Akins, chalices, pretty much will take the shape of a rock, favias. Um, but there are different corals that grow outwards, like let's say you get a gorgonia, something different. So when it comes to coral placement, you need to know what this coral is going to grow into. So it's very important to think ahead of time, not just after you bought the coral, but before you bought the coral. If you're like me and you have your aquascaping set up very specifically and you already imagined where you're going to put your corals and what kind of organization that you want so they don't sting each other, um, that's pretty important. Planning ahead is awesome, so I know what I want. I'm looking for the right pieces, the right acans to throw that rock so they can grow in and, and form a really nice garden. Um, same thing with my zoanthids. So when you pick out a coral, you may want to do some research on it and find out what type of coral it is. Does it have sweeper tentacles? Um, and usually how strong a sting in what someone would recommend uh, placing it towards another coral. So a little research helps. Chalices have surprisingly long sweepers. They don't look like it um, during the daytime. They're all nice and encrusting around your rocks. And then at nighttime, some of the chalices can have some extremely long sweepers that can damage some corals. And so these are some things to uh, think about for your coral placement. If you're going to glue something in your tank, you might want to know <laughs> what are those coral needs. So just think about it. Proper lighting. Is this a bright coral or is it going to melt under your LEDs? Certain mushrooms, certain corals don't like the high light. The Wilsonis will tend to fade out pretty quickly as the Montes and some of the other corals, the SPS just absolutely love getting hammered with the light. Even some of my Palithoas just crave light. It's pretty interesting the difference in coloration you get at the higher par values. So I plan on coming out with some more videos in the future, you know, giving people some more specific instructions on how to place proper corals, like if you have an LPS frog spawn versus the Acans versus the Pallies versus Zoanthids and different things. So I kind of want to get into detail more about each coral and that way you guys if you purchase it you can look it up online and it'll give you some more help as to where to place your new coral. But um, right now I'm just briefly talking just trying to give you guys some information so you have something to think about when you're out shopping. Um, you buy a couple corals and you want to put them on the same rock but they're going to fight you know, you're going to end up losing one of them in that battle, you don't know. So ask somebody who knows, um, if you're new to the hobby, feel free to join on one of the forums, ask questions online, even message us, Facebook, Instagram, text us, whatever you want to do, we're here to help you. We want to make your online purchasing easy and we want you to feel comfortable about your new corals. So somebody asked me the other day, you know, they got a coral and they had no idea anything about the coral stinging. So I totally forgot that there are people out there who are new in the hobby and won't right away know what to look out for. So I try to now tell people or warn them, I'd rather them not buy a coral if they're going to kill it because then they're going to blame me. Um, and that's not why, but I feel I need to warn them because if they're going to kill a coral, they don't have the requirements, their tank doesn't have proper lighting or proper flow. Uh, I want to save you the hassle of slowly watching that coral die or turn brown. So. I love the hobby, love coral. I want to share my information with you guys. So thanks for watching. And as always, happy reefing. Feel free to leave your questions or comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you need help with something specific, like I said, let me know again and I will try to make a video on that, making it a little bit more explainable uh, in depth. So see you guys next time.